also scored in the draw and return match at Goodison and could be a pivotal figure again as Everton seek to keep their unbeaten record against Liverpool since Joe Royal took over. But Robbie Fowler may have other ideas. He too scored in both Merseyside derbies last season without finishing on the winning side. And as a boyhood Everton fan, he has just as big an incentive as a potential match winner tonight. Liverpool's victory at Leeds on Saturday marked their first clean sheet in 11 games. So it's an unchanged side with a celebrated substitutes bench, including Patrick Berger, Phil Babb and Stan Collymore. Liverpool and Aston Villa still apparently a long way apart on their valuation of him. And talking of expensive substitutes, there's no place in the Everton starting lineup for Duncan Ferguson. They two are unchanged with goalkeeper Neville Southall playing his 39th derby match. That's a record. Captain Dave Watson celebrating his 35th birthday today. And number 12 Nick Barnby having sampled local passion in London and the North East about to discover what it means on Merseyside. Stewart and Parkinson facing Hinchcliffe. One. Parkinson, no. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant again. Complete miss kick, but it's come back to Hinchcliffe. And look at the break for Liverpool from the rebound. McManaman and Fowler. And on this side, McAteer. Still Fowler. to the referee, nothing given. But Manaman is receiving attention from the Liverpool physio Mark Leather. They're down to ten at the moment. They do love to pass it. It's in the real Everton tradition, but it's in their own back third, that. David Watson entering into it as well. Now Grant. And the intention is to get Kanchelskis away if they can. They know that uh, here last year, he was such a threat. And it doesn't look good for Steve McManaman. He's walking out of the Merseyside derby after 16 minutes. Substitution for Liverpool. To move, it's Collymore. And off Unsworth, Liverpool's first corner. Which should bring Ruddock and Wright forward. Ruddock, who scored via a deflection at Leeds has come trotting up towards the penalty spot. Bjornevi to take it. Collymore on the edge of the six-yard line. Mark Wright's there as well now. And there is Wright! Oh, and it's been scrambled away! Neville Southall held it in the end. But how did it stay out the first time from Mark Wright? He doesn't know. Liverpool within inches of taking the lead. It's Wright's header. Oh, and it's a very good clearance from off the line. Collymore. Oh, and he stretched the goalkeeper as well. He... Stewart! Oh, good block. Hoofed forward by Bjornevi, this is Collymore against Barrett, he should relish that sort of pass and he's provided one himself. And a drive by Redknapp. Well, Southall, who was uh, foiled by an excellent goal line clearance in the last situation here, faces up for a corner again, taken by Bjornevi. Now, can he get it inside again? They've got uh, Ruddock up on the far post. This is Redknapp floating it. Oh, and Robbie Fowler came in, and Liverpool are in front. And you would have to say it was typical Fowler. What a smart finish. They were looking at the big men, Ruddock and Wright and Collymore, and the irrepressible impish figure of Robbie Fowler on the half-hour mark gives Liverpool the lead, it's Jamie Redknapp's cross, that's a brilliant header by Fowler, the marking is poor from an open point of view, it's very poor, but the placement is superb. Duncan Ferguson, a big cheer from their end, perhaps not quite so enthusiastic when they see that Second the man who's gone off is Andrei Kanchelskis.
I gather he's suffering from a virus, Kanchelskis, and I can also tell you that McManaman went off because he felt his hamstring tighten up and they thought it was a precautionary measure. So there are changes afoot here. Can Ferguson's presence up front unhinge the Liverpool defence that looked pretty steady in the first half? Graham Stewart may have to move his position more to the right now for Everton. There he is, in fact, and first of all, Grant was fouled. So it's a completely new ball game with Ferguson on. And he'll be joined here by Watson for the free kick. James began to come, there's Ferguson's first touch. Flag was up, I think there was a player offside, Barnby, but doesn't matter. Well, they'll be uh, aiming a few in his direction now, Everton. Oh, it's a bad one from Ruddock. Gary Speed, Ferguson, Grant, wide to Hinchcliffe. Danger here. Oh, it's Speed! Gary Speed! Oh! That, unquestionably, was Everton's best chance of the night so far. 12 minutes into the second half. Will they live to regret that? Well, they've got possession back with Stewart. Pass, Thomas. Oh. Good interception by Hinchcliffe, who's injured. This is Bjornaby. Oh, and Stan Collymore. His first real sight of goal, thwarted by the man who's played in more Merseyside derbies than anybody, Neville South. Well, that's a very good save. It wasn't very far away. Might even have clipped the post. Seems just giving it away by trying to do things or being forced to do things too quickly. Really has been the pattern of the match. Like that. Grant. Well, Stewart and Matteo just wonder if the Everton player just perhaps played for that a bit anyway it's a free kick and uh, Dave Watson is up to lend his height David James got the angle right and rescued Liverpool from what might well have been last-minute defeat in a match which for such a long time they looked like winning. This is a performance of some character by Everton. Stoppage time as Mark Wright pumps it forward. Well, it came across to Ferguson in a good position, but David James, that could be a priceless save. There's and this one ends in a point apiece. Liverpool will not go top because Gary Speed got the deftest 
faintest of headers on Hinchcliffe's free kick and salvaged something for Everton which in fact but for David James might have even been victory had he not stopped that late shot from Ferguson Liverpool looked to be in charge for a long spell after Fowler's goal but Everton showed real character and under Joe Royal they're now unbeaten in five Merseyside derbies 40,000 and more enjoyed it Liverpool won